So, my name is John Simrusha, and I've been involved with a fintech uh, space for over nine to ten years. Officially, <laughs> I've become a cashless evangelist. Uh, we have set up the cashless challenge to demystify some of challenges in terms of a customer journey that, that might not be obvious uh, to the ecosystem builders. Myself, I've been going 45 days by today without paying for bills, goods or services with cash. So it's all been digital means of payments. The root of cash's challenge has been inspired by the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal number nine that talks about financial inclusion uh, for all. Uh, cashless challenge is meant to highlight what are the things that are actually possible to pay with digital transactions and what are the things that I may be possible and what are the things that are no-go. And we're documenting the entire experience of social media with the hashtag cashless challenge. So in Tanzania, the biggest has been spending an extra time explaining to merchants and whoever else that I'm, I'm paying for the service I've received or goods I've received, because normally the common phrase is lipa na kulipia, which means top up uh, with what I'm going to pay when I would convert the digital uh, tokens into cash. And my goal has been since I can't pay more than I'm supposed to, to educate them that they could pay their suppliers they could pay for bills also using my tokens uh, as they go about their daily life. So I've been spending a lot of time educating the merchants. Ultimately, it would be good to have at least 80% of all transactions in the country uh, being cashless. In, in a cashless economy, uh, everybody wins, right? So the revenue uh, authority will collect the taxes uh, easier because, as we said before, it's all digital. Uh, corporates might not uh, spend more money doing cash collections because handling cash is expensive. It's a billion dollar industry of its own uh, in Africa. And for the consumer, it's super safe, right? So if I lose my wallet, that's gone. Uh, but if I'm all digital, if I lose my wallet, chances are I'm only one phone call away from blocking any transactions happening from that minute. The biggest that I foresee myself and uh, everybody else that is participating is privacy, right? Uh, having your transaction not only shared on social media, but every little expenditure you do uh, being visible to either your payment processor or the third parties that are involved, it breach uh, some of your privacy because then they know where you live, where you work, how you commute. Uh, what you eat, what's your monthly budget, and if that information gets into wrong hands, we can all imagine how uh, it could be wrongly used, right? I think if there's more campaigns like this that focus on uh, privacy and you know what is safe to share, what is not safe to share, that also could easily be addressed. It's a big question because there are so many dependencies to it. Uh, uh, the, it's gonna take multiple stakeholders to deliberately invest in more than just uh, what's ongoing now uh, to get there. So Tanzania has been fortunate to have the first interoperability in terms of mobile money, but that has to be broadened, not only with uh, mobile money uh, services, but also banks and merchant payments. So if everybody come together that, you know, we have seen some initiatives, we're looking at five to seven years. If con it continues on auto autopilot as is right now, uh, we might get there in 10 plus years. But I know for sure cashless uh, society is inevitable because the cost of handling cash day by day is increasing. Uh, you can participate uh, by taking three to five days uh, committing to leave uh, only paying uh, with digital means. And will be super helpful if you could actually share your experience uh, with the rest of the audience that are following the challenge to social media, just make sure you, you, you tag hashtag cashless challenge.